Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Dead Synchronicity. Tomorrow comes today for the PS4. The game is also available for the Nintendo Switch and Microsoft Windows. Dead Synchronicity is an episodic point and click adventure game set in a post apocalyptic future and was developed by Fixurama Studios. You play as Michael, an amnesiac who wakes up to a dystopian world full of diseased humans, controlling military forces and bizarre characters. So what is the game like to play? Well, it's a point and click game, so you'll be moving the cursor around the screen, investigating objects, collecting them, using them in other locations to solve puzzles. The action starts in a refugee camp and Michael has to piece together his own memory as well as figuring out what happened to the world. Michael has a briefcase where he can store relevant items as well as a notebook where he jots down any pertinent information acquired through his conversations. One thing I really enjoyed were the characters. The game world is full of bleak, disturbed and malevolent figures that you'll meet through the relatively short adventure. There are belligerent military guards, pimps, lost babies, random genocidal killings and all manner of weirdness to discover. The story is really dark at times, with shocking revelations and disturbed moments. The game is dialogue heavy with extended narrative sections where you can grill people for information to help decipher your dreamlike visions. And the game deals with time in an interesting way also with a non-linear sense running through it as you occasionally get these visions of other times but it's not unclear at first what they are. Graphically, the art style is muted with desaturated visuals, morose locations and disturbed undertones. Some of the voices are a bit lifeless though, with the main character in particular, especially when talking about objects. It sounds like someone reading an instruction manual. It's an unframed snapshot, stuck directly on the wall of the room. Two adults and a child smiling at the camera in what looks like an enormous yard. The general voice acting is better, I would say, than that, but with one very good character followed by one very mediocre one. The music is mostly fine, but from time to time you'll get this weird 80s cop show music that fades in and it really doesn't have any relevance at all. It's absolutely one of the most bizarre musical choices I've ever heard in a game. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? The game has a powerful art style, the story is disturbed and intriguing and the puzzles are pretty challenging. What's bad? The game doesn't really have a satisfactory conclusion, a lot of the narrative is poorly voice acted and the story doesn't quite hold together. So what's the verdict? Dead Synchronicity is a disturbing, dark and weird experience that has some genuinely shocking moments. It reminded me of a depressing black and white Eastern European piece of cinema with odd characters, a narrative that keeps you guessing and an impressive art style. But overall, the story, narrative and day-to-day -day gameplay doesn't quite manage to live up to the potential. The overly long conversations, the obscure puzzles and the methodical pace mean the game never quite makes the impact it could have. It's not a bad point and click experience, but it's not the best one available on the PS4 either. But for gamers who like dark, surreal stories set in weird worlds, this one is definitely worth having a look at. So my score for Dead at Synchronicity tomorrow comes today is 7 out of 10. Okay, that was the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.